Good morning and thank you everyone for joining us today. It is with great pleasure that I introduce to you the new CMCI Data Analytics Platform, an initiative to provide a more interactive and user-friendly interface not only for easier access to the CMCI database, but also to facilitate analysis and visualization for students, researchers, policymakers, and local and foreign investors, and other stakeholders. As we all know, the Cities and Municipalities Competitiveness Index aims to build local competitiveness and strategically map out and track the competitiveness of cities and municipalities through a set of competitiveness indicators. This is intended to empower the LGUs to measure and compare their current level of competitiveness against global standards, identify areas for improvement and growth, and introduce reforms and initiatives to boost local competitiveness. The DTI, in partnership with uh, the Regional Competitiveness Councils, collaborated with the local government units in gathering the necessary data to allow us to measure local competitiveness. For the last eight years, the number of LGUs participating in the CMCI increased significantly from 286 in 2013 to 1,518 LGUs this year. Given the importance of the CMCI database in policymaking, we initiated the Data Visualization and Analytics Project, a platform that aims to provide user-friendly and interactive tools to allow users to easily generate competitiveness indicators of LGUs and provide data trends and comparative results perform simulations along with the creation of graphs and charts. All this could be done using the platform. The data analytics platform has made four major links consisting of the data portal, rankings page, an interactive map, and a library. By going to cmci.dti.gov.ph, the landing page immediately shows the CMCI rankings. An option is provided whether one wants to go directly to the rankings or data portal. The data portal shows the specific performance of uh, provinces and LGUs covering the major indicators of the four pillars, economic dynamism, government efficiency, infrastructure, and resiliency from 2014 onwards. From the data portal, one could also access the LGU dashboard, which provides provincial and LGU profiles and other indicators shown in the menu of options. The rankings page allows one to see the LGU rankings based on their scores on the four pillars. Provincial rankings are also shown based on population and revenues. The interactive map shows heat maps based on the user's selected pillars by province or LGU. The library provides the online local data capture sheet and forms along with a compendium of local ordinances and resolutions. Let's try to do a live demonstration. This is the landing page of um, the competitiveness uh, uh, ranking website and uh, immediately you would see the CMCI uh, rankings for uh, 2019. Um, there are two options given. You can go straight to the rankings or you can also select uh, data portal. And below, um, there are uh, all these boxes presenting uh, uh, competitiveness rankings based on uh, their provincial scores. There are also rankings containing uh, highly urbanized uh, cities, component cities, uh, first to second class municipalities, and third to sixth class municipalities. 
Okay, so let's go to rankings first. It's taking some time. Okay, there you go. Um, so um, in the in the rankings page, you would uh, see the top ten provinces, and the, the provincial uh, rankings are based on population and uh, income or uh, revenues of um, the cities and municipalities and then you will also find uh, the top 10 highly urbanized uh, cities but if you want to uh, know the next who the next 10 are um, you can just uh, click on view more and that would lead you to the more uh, specific information um, the, the, you also have rankings on the top 10 component cities the top 10 first to second class municipalities and top 10 third to sixth class municipalities and um, as you can see these are actually clickable so if you click on uh, Rizal that is going to give us the provincial profile of Rizal and uh, you would see this uh, chart containing the contribution of the different uh, cities and municipalities to the uh, score of uh, Rizal. Of course, these are based on population and uh, revenues. And again, you would see the scores of the different uh, cities and municipalities of uh, Rizal. Okay. If um, we uh, click on um, city, for instance, uh, now let's go to Manila. And here uh, you will find uh, the LGU profile. Um, you, you get the category, um, including who the mayor is, and the website and the address of uh, the Manila City Hall. And um, you would also find here the scores of Manila on um, the major pillars economic dynamism, government efficiency, infrastructure and resiliency these are uh, the scores here given on this uh, uh, on this uh, spider chart and beside it is another chart that would um, indicate the ranking of manila vis-a-vis uh, -vis other highly urbanized uh, cities okay and uh, moving on um, after rankings uh, Okay, so we won't uh, go through each uh, anymore, but uh, let's move on to data portal. For the data portal, again, you see this uh, selection. You can click on that. That's uh, the overall scores and containing the four major pillars. Then you have uh, economic dynamism along with the subsectoral um, indicators, government efficiency, infrastructure, and resiliency. So assuming we want to know more about the uh, overall score, um, economic dynamism, government efficiency, infrastructure, and together with uh, resiliency, we have a choice between um, uh, getting the rankings uh, based on uh, the provincial level or uh, LGU level. So uh, let's assume you want uh, to get one for Cebu okay, at the LGU level. And note that uh, you can select more than one. Okay, so uh, let's choose Manila. And then time series we have from 2014 to 2019. So we just uh, click on process selection, and that is going to provide us with uh, the charts containing the selections that we made. So these are uh, the charts that you see are by pillar so you have the overall score of uh, Cebu and Manila you also have economic dynamism for the two uh, LGUs government efficiency and infrastructure and resiliency and um, you would also see uh, the tables containing the scores okay and this one uh, this icon again would allow us to uh, download the data as well as the charts now we can also change uh, this uh, if we want um, by government unit so uh, we'll be producing 
two charts. Now we'll have uh, one for Cebu containing all the different um, indicators from 2014 to 2019. And then we'll also have the same format for Manila um, containing overall score uh, along with the other uh, major pillars covering the years 2014 to 2019. And again, uh, these are all uh, downloadable and uh, along with the chart is um, a table containing the scores. And you can also uh, change uh, the appearance of the chart. Maybe you want lines, so just click on lines and uh, we get this uh, uh, different uh, uh, graph. Uh, okay. We now have lines instead instead of um, bars that we had earlier. We can also choose lines, and the splines they uh, just change the appearance of the lines. Uh, now they're uh, smoother. Okay, so um, let's now move on to the interactive map. For the interactive map, uh, what we will get would be uh, heat maps. As you can see, the colors would range from red to green. Red, that means you have a very low score. And green, that would mean uh, you're get, getting high scores. So um, let's say we want to look at economic dynamism and we select uh, Metro Manila. And this is what we get. Okay. showing us uh, the rankings as illustrated by uh, these different uh, colors. We don't have a red and we don't have a green, but uh, they range from um, orange to yellow. So they're somewhere in the middle. Okay. So um, we can now move on to library. And uh, here we can uh, also uh, download uh, forms and documents along with uh, local ordinances and resolutions. We have one for Kaloocan. That gives us an overview of our data analytics platform. Through this platform, we hope that the CMCI data will be more accessible and useful to all. Um, and I would like to invite everyone to visit the site uh, at cmci.dti.gov.ph and try to explore and experience the data analytics and visualization platform. Use this as a tool to help in carrying out data-driven analysis, especially as you craft your competitiveness and innovation policies. All these are important to help us in creating an enabling environment, improving the economies and lives of our people, and building livable communities towards becoming more innovative and competitive, especially as we enter the new normal. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay tayong lahat!